Hello Capricorn, getting ready to do your reading. This is for the end of December. Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, Capricorn. Overall energy is the Seven of Wands, walking a new path. See, there you are. Wow, you look pretty happy at the end of the month. All right, listening to your intuition, or maybe this other person is, could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone really thinking though. Okay. Five of Wands, the Chariot. Okay, someone is coming in to talk to you. So you can see that it does not have to be an ex, but I feel like this is somebody thinking about you. You guys may have fought in the past. Okay. Okay, so it could be a Leo. We have Aquarius, Cancer. Um, this person, I feel like you're in a good position though, Capricorn. This person may really want you back. And they don't want you to see that they are needy or desperate. It's kind of what I'm picking up here. They're, they could definitely not be an air sign. They're just going to try to kind of hide the emotions, come in, you know, something, say something logical, it makes sense. Um, let's see. What is the seven of wands? Two of coins, eight of cups, magician. Okay. So a lot of you have already decided to move on, walk away, start something new. So seven of wands tells me, obviously, you don't really want to talk to this person. Let me see your overall energy right now. Okay, so you're just sticking to yourself. You may or may not be hermiting. Maybe you go to this person. Maybe you're just spending time alone. It looks kind of like you're spending time um, alone with the Nine of Coins. You might be spending time though with family at the end of the month. Or You look happy though. I need to see. Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. Six of Coins. Yeah, I feel like some of you may be spending time with family or friends during the holidays, buying gifts for kids or for family members or friends, things like that, going out and enjoying yourself. If you've been working all year, wanting to celebrate, spend some money is what I'm seeing. So your energy overall right now for the end of the month is good. So if you want to spend time alone on by yourself, that might be the best thing for you. Let's see if this King of Swords is thinking or feeling. They're kind of huddled up in a corner. Knight of Wands energy and the Lovers. Okay, interesting. Eight of Wands. I don't think I looked to see what was under the deck for you, but I don't I don't always need to know. I just sometimes like to see the energy because this tells me you know, this person is thinking a lot and then they're coming in quickly. They might be a fire sign. I think this person is, is like kind of like trying to make a logical argument. It's kind of what I'm getting here. They're putting the, like something together, like a whole speech for you to make you see things their way. I think this person really does care about you to some extent or acknowledge that you are an important person in their life or you were or a soulmate or something like that with lovers being here. Or maybe they, they have a strong sexual connection with you. But um, I feel like this is a argument or a battle that they've already lost to be very honest with you. But we'll see what's happening here. What is the five of wands? Meaning you've already made up your mind. Yeah, they're coming in with a peace offering. They're gonna come in with a gentle offering. They may travel far. Again, obviously this could be someone from your past, um, but they may do something very nice to you. And this person may come in with a different energy with the Six of Cups. He's given her flowers. It's very gentle. It's very sweet. Same with Page of Cups. Um, this might be a different way for this person to act. It might kind of surprise you, but let's see. Okay. Yeah, and okay, what, under the deck is the Emperor, which kind of makes sense because I don't know if this is an act by this person. Are they truly sincere? Are they truly, I feel like this is an act. I feel like they're going to kind of come in with a sweet, gentle energy. Um, they've got this plan. It's like manipulation is what I'm picking up. Total manipulation. So I would assume with the Seven of Wands being in the center of the reading that, that if this person were to even show up, you, you would not care. Whoops, I just dropped some. You wouldn't really care. Yeah, some of you are going to spend time with your family, Six of Swords, Two of Wands, Ten of Coins, or friends, or maybe even do some traveling here. If you have the money to do so, maybe do something with, you know, on your own. Let's see. What is this King of Cups? Yeah, this King of Cups is actually this Emperor. What is the Nine of Wands? Okay, so they don't think that you can see through their facade. They think that you are dumb enough to just kind of believe this sweet act that they're putting on for you okay they may even be saying they're going to give you what you want whatever you argued about maybe they'll you know say okay whatever you want i'll give you 
Pass is a pass. Let's move forward. So, but I can tell by the look on your face with the Nine of Wands, you've been there, done that, and you just don't believe them. So let me get some advice cards because they want you to work together, Three of Coins. I don't think you're going to. I don't think you care. But why would this show up in your reading? Because I feel like... What, what do they need to know at this time? What does Capricorn need to know? Okay, they're saying explore your options. So look at new possibilities and make changes is what that card says. Let me do one more from this deck. Okay, and they're saying make a wish. All right. So kind of like ma manifestation. So there's other good things going on around you. Um, I don't know why I'm pulling a romance card, but I will for this. Feels like it's not really needed, but we'll see. Okay, heart to heart conversations. So that means this person wants to come in and talk, talk your ear off. I don't know if you want to listen. And separation. So obviously, well, free yourself is under there first. Obviously, you're either separated now or you're going to separate after you guys talk. It's, it's I'm, I'm not sure exactly again why your reading has to go around and not, this ex coming back into you, to you. when it's clear that most of you probably don't want this person. The good thing to know is that your energy up here is, looks, looks good as far as maybe finances, spending time with other people if you want. Toward the, especially if you don't feel like spending time with people right now, that's okay. By the end of the month, it looks like you will be more social if you want to be. Okay, let me just pull out a couple cards. Two of Cups, the Emperor. Lovers, wow. Ten of Cups, there you are. Listening to your intuition, make sure you can see that, okay. Chariot, Hanged Man, okay, and the Moon. That's the important card because that is the unknown. So this person coming in, it's coming up as an Emperor again. Could be an Aries, but Gemini, Taurus, um, Cancer, Pisces. But this person actually may feel like they really are your soulmate. You may know that too, but it doesn't matter. You have to stay with them. They seem to want a relationship with you. I kind of feel like they may say things like, we're meant to be together, you know, we were happy at one time, but you have moved on. I think you see this person in a very different light. The moon is what is important because that's things going on behind the scenes. What is the moon energy for this person? I feel like this person may come in and be very um, like pushy. After they get over this whole act, they're going to go back to their usual self of being very controlling, very pushy. Eight of, um, the world in reverse, eight of wands, page of wands, communication, four of swords, telling you they're sad, coming in. So this is what's going on right now. You haven't heard from this person. They're thinking about you. Page of cups, new beginning. Okay, so they may really pull at your heartstrings for some of you. Six of Wands, I think that's what they want though because strength kind of tells me there's that maybe feeling a little guilty or bad that you might have a child with them, page of coin, but doesn't need to be. It could be an earth sign like you, but this is the two of you talking about some type of new beginning. I'm getting right here that they may say something like, let's move, let's buy a new house together, let's start over completely, uh, let's go to a different state, country, city, whatever. Um, I'll give you this. You always wanted this. I'll buy this for you. I'll do that for you. I'll make these changes. I don't, I just don't feel like it's authentic or real. So they have this idea. What's coming in is a revival, but yet it's in reverse. That's someone to me not giving six of coin in reverse, seven of coin, not wanting to invest, but yet feeling like they can get away with this is kind of what I'm picking up six of wands. Like they can say these things. You'll believe them. So maybe you've never told this person no before. I'm sure you have. But I mean, like, to a point to where they feel like they can just come back in. They can just come back to you and maybe you'll take them back if they say the right thing. But again, I'm getting they're not authentic whatsoever. Like, you finally realize that. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it here. Have a really good week, Capricorn, and I'll talk to you soon.